really long and dramatic logos. Warner Bros. Why not Warner Brothers? I don't know. Every now and then, I like to peek my design mind inside. So if you guys haven't noticed, the Warner Brothers logo had changed in 2019. Now, not a lot of people noticed this because for some reason, it wasn't appearing in their movies or any future trailers. They sure changed the logo on their social media profile pics though, and that was a long time back. But look at this, Tom and Jerry, November 2020, and it has the old logo. I don't know why they weren't so eager to change. The new logo, if you see the logo sills here, is amazing in my opinion. It's the same shield and a great simplistic design, and it defeats a lot of design problems too. See, over the course of many years, logos have undergone changes. Back in the 1900s, logos tended to be 2D, and that was the style for the most part. But as the 2000s approached, the logos headed to 3D. You can see that this was the old logo of Warner Brothers before this one. Now, why is this important? Because in modern times, we've gone, in fact, back to 2D. The most evident case of this being the iPhone's interface change in 20... Uh, I, I forgot the date. But uh, it was in iOS 7, where all the icons turned into 2D. And from then on, a lot of logos shifted to 2D. It shows that design isn't standard. It changes. And this feels cluttered rather than this. But who knows? Maybe in another 10 years, people will like it again. And that's why this logo is so great. They've integrated 3D into it. And even though this is the main logo, there's so many places where they can use the classic 3D design. Case in point, on the Warner Brothers Tower, the Warner Bros and Warner Sister have a new door. They even created a new font to match the new logo, which is actually cartoony and fun in a way. For at least two years now, I've been waiting for them to actively use this logo in a sleek new intro. Come 2021, HBO Max, here we go. I'm honestly such a big fan of 2D logos, but Warner Bros helped me embrace both. And that's why the latest Dare to Dream Blue Tiger Art has both 2D design and 3D, because the lighting looks cool. But iOS 6, I can't really like this. It's too cluttered with shadows and lighting and gradients and textures, it's just too much. 